So in this video, we will configure some VRFs. VRFs are VPN routing forwarding instances that have their own routing tables. So they do not use the global routing table. What does that mean? That means that if you have configured your ethernet interfaces and you do show IP route, <clears throat> you'll see connected routes, which are similar to your ethernet connected interfaces. Uh, if you were to put these interfaces in the VRF, uh, they would not belong to the global routing table. They would belong to a different routing table the name of which you can define yourself. So let's go ahead and test that out. For that, let's just make sure that we can ping our neighbor VOS1 from VOS2, which is 1001. And yes, we can. So once we put the interface in the VRF, you will not be able to. So we do set VRF name VRF one table 100. That's how it starts from. And then we put this VRF or assign this VRF to an interface. So let's say assigns this VRF to Ethernet zero. This guy here. Set interface Ethernet Ethernet zero VRF. VRF1. We'll commit. Uh, open source software. So this is probably a bug here, but it should still work. <clears throat> now, if you do show IP route, you'll see that the interface has disappeared. It's no longer in the global routing table. So to see it, you're going to have to do show IP route. VRF, VRF1, and there it is. So if you were last, before we configured the VRF, we ping our neighbor. Now if you were to ping our neighbor, you can see that we cannot reach it, but we would be able to reach it by going through the VRF routing table. So that is your VRF configuration on BIOS.